Hi guys, it's Sebastian with Looking, Feeling, Small and Great. I'm back with another video for you today. I'm in Paris, France, and I'm here at the Le Jardin Retrouvé Boutique. And I have Michelle here, the owner. And today we're gonna to discuss the brand with you uh, and the relaunch of the brand. Also, if you stick around till the end of the video, we'll have a chance at winning one of the, which kits are we giving away? We are going to give away a necessaire, which is a, a full bottle of one of our perfumes. Great. And I'll explain more about that later. Cool. So please stay tuned. So Michelle, thank you for having me here to do this video. Tell me a little bit about your brand. Um, most people in the US probably do not know about it, but it's a recently resurrected brand that used to exist years ago, right? Yeah, it's quite true. In fact, I have to say that people in the US, some people in the US, do know the brand mm -hmm. because it was very widely distributed at Barney's oh, wow. uh, in the 70s and 80s. Really? So we have a track record in the US because it's a brand that was created by my father who was a perfumer, Yuri Gutsatz. He was a very well-known perfumer in the 60s and 70s. Oh, wow. And uh, one day he decided to quit uh, his job uh, and to create his own brand. And that was in 75. Mm -hmm. And in fact, when you look back at the history of perfume, uh, it was the very first niche brand that was ever created. Oh, wow. Uh, because the, the, the other contender for that title of very first niche brand is L'Artisan Parfumeur. Mm -hmm. And it was created by Jean Laporte a year later in 76. So we are here really in the a heritage brand, um, which was distributed in. Uh, in, in Europe, in the US, in Canada, in Japan, very widely. And uh, you know, like uh, afterwards it became what you can call a sleeping beauty. Mm. And so uh, last year we decided to relaunch it. That's awesome. So you have seven perfumes that you've relaunched? Is that the entire catalog or do you have more? No, my father created something like 20 plus perfumes. But we decided to shrink uh, the collection uh, for the relaunch to seven of the best sellers mm. uh, that he created okay. and with different olfactory families so that uh, we cover a, a rather wide spectrum for every person to find uh, his or her own perfume. I see. So what are the perfumes and let us, talk, let us know what, what they are exactly. We have in fact um, three uh, citrus uh, from the citrus family. Um, one is, uh, and I'm going to show you the samples. We, we have commissioned an artist uh, to um, create uh, visuals and stories which go along with the perfume. Oh, cool. And uh, I can, if I can just read one of them, I won't read all seven of them. Okay, yeah. But I can, I'll read one of them so that you can um, think about smelling the uh, the fragrance and listening to the story. Okay. Uh, I'll take Cure de Russie. Okay. Cure de Russie is a floral leather. I smell that one. You know that one? Yeah. Okay. Uh, there are very few Cure de Russie, uh, the Chanel's, of mm -hmm. course. And uh, my father took his inspiration when he created that in the 70s in a very old uh, um, Knizetten uh, Cure de Russie. I that one. <laughs> yeah. I did have that one. And, um, I had one of your blogger colleagues here uh, two months ago telling me, Michel, I really can tell you uh, the Jardin Retrouvé Cuir de Russie is much better than the Knizetain. It's really so, good. Let me share with you the story. Uh, 1920, uh, the Opera Hall is packed. Diaghilev is presenting his ballet russe. You're seated with flamboyant Parisians in the front row, wide eyed. You watch Nijinsky and his soft leather boots. Mm. He leaps, he spins, he fills the stage with the bewitching scent of Ilang Ilang, violet and cinnamon, enveloping a harmony of Kidwood and Styrax. You wish that this moment could last forever. Wow. This artist has created like little scenettes to go with each of the perfumes. Because you know, we didn't want to say, oh, the the heart notice this and the head notice that. Um, we think uh, 
perfume is art. And we think that creating a perfume, that was what my father always defended all his life as a perfumer. Perfume is an artistic creation. Yeah. And perfumers uh, were never put center stage. They were forgotten. People were selling perfumes without ever telling, saying who was the creator of the perfume. Yeah. It's only very recently that people have started saying, oh, Jean-Claude Elena, oh, and, and all of a sudden, uh, Jacques Polge. Chanel was Jacques Polge, and now it's Olivier Polge. But who knew that? Who knew that? And these guys, men and women, they really are creators. The very first thing that we did is to go back to art. Uh, art as a, for perfume creation, art for the text, and art for the picture that has been put on the samples. Mm -hmm. And I think this uh, works quite well. Ah, it's a beautiful work. Yeah. And, um, and can we show? And, yeah, of course. This is, uh, this is the Cure de Russie. And as you can see, we've put the name of the, of the brand, the name of the perfume, but also the name of Yuri Gutzatz in the packaging. Because he's the original creator. Because he's the original creator and he's the creator of the perfumes themselves. We have seven. Three citrus, one cologne, in fact, called Eau de Delice, which is a very classical cologne, uh, very well done. We have a Verveine d'été, Verbena, and the third one is Citron Boboli, which is a, a spicy citrus. I it's like a, that one a lot. Uh, you see a mixture of citrus, uh, petit grain, and, and of, of um, cloves and pepper. Yeah. And this is uh, very, very interesting. And as you can see, we've named each one of the perfumes uh, to the name of a mythical or real garden. Okay. Because le jardin retrouvé means the refound garden. Okay. The idea of my father was we all have a garden in our heads. We all own a garden somewhere. And this is where our fondest memories are. We've gone for Citron Boboli is for the Boboli Gardens in Firenze. Mm. And this is where you have those magnificent uh, uh, citrus from Italy, which we are using in, in the perfumes. Uh, Verveine d'été is the uh, uh, summer garden in St. Petersburg uh, in Russia. Okay. Uh, Eau de Delice is, uh, it's not a real garden, it's the uh, Garden of the Lights of Hieronymus Bosch. Mm. It's a painting. I see. And then we have uh, Tuberus Trianon and Rose Trocadero, which are florals. Yes. Uh, Tuberus Trianon uh, is a tube rose. I think one of the very, very good tube rose you can find today on the market. And Rose Trocadero, is, as its name uh, shows, a rose. You know, I have one of your colleague bloggers who told me, Tuberus Trianon, I want to marry it. <laughs> She's so in love with it. And Rose Trocadero, it's a velvety rose. You, you can, you, it's as if you had your, your face, the rose petals. Yeah. Um, I, like, I like that rose actually. Yeah. I think it's, a, you know, today roses very often are quite aggressive. And this is really a soothing rose. Yeah. And then you have the, the last two is a floral leather, Pierre de Russie, which we've seen. And the last one is a woody uh, sandalwood sacré, around the sandalwood, the idea of sandalwood and, and spices. Uh, it's a very, very extraordinary perfume. When you sent me the samples, I really enjoyed sampling them, and I love citrus to begin with, so mm -hmm. I did fall in love with the citrus, uh, the bobbly. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course I love rose, and rose is really nice too. And then the, the curd de is. Yeah, I think that's, that's a, this is a perfume for everyone. And as you can see, this is not men's or women's uh, fragrances. Yeah. There's no gender there. Uh, we have some men that love the rose or the tuberose. People would say, oh, it's more feminine, you know. And, uh, and sandalwood, for instance, uh, our customers, they can be uh, men and women both. There's no difference whatsoever. Yeah, true. Yeah. Uh, you want to buy the perfume. Yeah. And, and we said that, in fact, uh, customers, they have many issues today. Uh, one of the issues is that prices are getting unreasonable. Yeah. Unreasonable. You know, some niche brands have really hit some some prices which I don't know what can justify them. I know the prices. I know how you can uh, 
create an excellent perfume yeah. with the very most the most expensive ingredients. Huh? There's nothing that justifies those astronomic prices. Yeah. So we said we have to deliver value. We have to deliver value to our customers. Yeah. Um, and so what is value? And, and we think that value is, of course, excellent perfume. We, we want them to, to know uh, also um, what makes its quality. So um, this is one thing, and I'll, I'll give you the example in, in a minute. And the other is that uh, today customers are mobile. So customers, they're, they're, you're traveling here to Paris, you just come to Paris. Are you going to take your 50 ml, 100 ml, or 200 ml with you in your suitcase? Oh, not 200. Not 200. <laughs> Maybe not even 100. Not even, yeah. So we're trying to stick to 30 ml yeah. or less. 30 ml or less. So we said we've got to offer, we, we have a home and we, we are traveling. Mm -hmm. So we need both. Yeah. And then the last point is uh, why throw away everything? You know, when we started working on the concept, we tried finding bottles which were with screw tops. Mm. <clears throat> you can't find them anymore. Yeah. You can't find them anymore. Uh, the pump is uh, gelded to the, to the bottle. Yeah. So once it's finished, you have to throw it away. Totally. So we are in a period where this is not acceptable anymore. So we said we want to make it sustainable. So making it sustainable is you buy a bottle and then you refill it. Mm. So this is our concept. What you buy is this, what we call le nécessaire. Le nécessaire in the... What does that mean in French? Le nécessaire? Nece what is necessary? What is necessary? The necessary. Okay. Necessary? You would call it the basic set or something like that. Okay. Le nécessaire is what is necessary for you okay. to enjoy the perfume. All right. And once you open it, you have of course, you find the, the, the small presentation of this is a sandalwood sacré, uh, le nécessaire. Okay. Same as for, with the samples. You find another card explaining to you how you can use it. And then, wow. you have this box. A kit. A kit. You have a kit. That's awesome. And this kit <coughs> offers you a 125 ml mm. aluminum flask, which is sealed where you have the perfume, okay. and it's written on that the date when it was manufactured, mm -hmm. this is September 2016, you have maturation time and maceration time. Oh wow. So you know that it spent three weeks just with the concentré, the concentrate, the juice, with all the ingredients blending together, and another three weeks in alcohol. So altogether six weeks before it's bottled. Wow. And this is written on the bottle. Then you have a glass funnel and two bottles, a 50 ml and a 15 ml. Wow. So that's great. It's empty, of course. Uh, you have a beautiful wooden cap. Nice. And you can unscrew. Okay. So you fill this 50 ml using the funnel. And for travel or for the handbag, you have That's great. the same thing, which is just the 15 ml. No need to do a decant or whatever. You're doing your own and you can do it whenever you want. 15 plus 50 is 65, which is approximately half of this. Mm -hmm. So when you buy the nécessaire, you can fill it twice. Wow. You can fill it twice. Nice. And then when you're done, you don't have to rebuy the box, oh. the whole box. You only buy what we call la ressource, which is in fact just the refill. And here you only buy the refill. Wow, great idea. So you've got the bottles, you keep them. I think they're beautiful and you can have them with yourself or in your bathroom or whatever. Mm -hmm. You've got the funnel. If ever you lose it or break it, you can buy another one. Um, if you want, you can also buy this little bottle, just empty, if you want an extra one. Oh, wow. You can sell that too. The little, this little one? Yeah, the little one. Okay. It's available uh, just by itself. This one? 
Yeah. And then the only thing you buy is, is this. Nice. You don't need... So the price is really decent. Um, so what's the price of the, uh, the lesson? The so, necessaire? Le, the necessaire. The necessaire. The necessaire let, let me... I, I should check the, the, the US prices. Okay. Okay. But if I think correctly, um, the US price is something like... Uh, it depends on the perfumes. Okay. Uh, the range is between uh, 180 to 195 dollars for 125 ml. Oh wow, that's a good deal. Which I think is under 200 dollars. Yeah, under it's under 200 dollars. Yeah. Okay, and this is of course um, less. It's it's around 150. Oh wow! Since most of my audience is in the United States. Can they get these in the United States or do they order them from you? They, they, they order online. Okay. They order online. For the time being, we only sell on our e-commerce shop, on our website, uh, mm -hmm. Um mm -hmm. But we are going to be stocked by some selected stores in the, in the near future. In the US? In the US. Okay. okay. But for the time being, uh, it's very simple. We, they order the samples, we ship them, uh, once they've selected their favorite perfume, then they order the necessaire and we ship it. And the US, depending on which coast you are, uh, you can get it within a week. Wow, that's good. Totally. Great concept, yeah. Mm. So, were, were the original fragrances sold like this? This is the original pack of the Verbena, okay. Verbena de okay. We just changed the name, but it was sold exactly uh, like a, a standard perfume. Wow, okay. that's beautiful. Yeah. And we still have these, these are vintage, uh, because these were made uh, well, five years ago and kept uh, sealed, uh, never been opened since. Oh, wow. This is the, the original packaging that was sold at Barney's. Wow. I wasn't aware they were sold at Barney's. Before. Yeah. I think this is a really interesting way of reintroducing a brand uh, because you know 20th and 21st century are not the same uh, and we think we have to find a real concept uh, to to bring to the market today yeah yeah I think it's very unique mm -hmm. I like it because mm -hmm. a lot of um, really uh, perfume obsessed people decant their own perfumes yeah. they yeah. do little you know mini decants for traveling mm -hmm. And they would really enjoy something like this. Yeah, they can. They can. And, and I, I'm really sure, you know, I've been discussing with many people who tell me that many people will directly go and buy only La Ressource. And they, they'll do their own decants uh, at home. Yeah. Uh, because they have their bottles and everything. And uh, because the price is really attractive, they, they, will, they will just buy the, the La Ressource, for instance. Totally. Why not? Makes total sense, yeah. Mm -hmm. So the giveaway is open to everyone in the world, mm -hmm. and what do they get? They will get one necessaire. Any perfume of their choice? Any perfume of their choice. Cool. So that could be yeah. um, the, um, one of the three citruses, one of the two florals, or so one of the two... The, one, the woody, uh, sandalwood sacré, or the floral leather, cuir de Okay. They have all the... They of course can order, uh, prior to that, samples, if they want to, to know which one they would love to have. Oh, yeah. And, and we, we ship samples every day from here. Okay. And I think they can ask you to, because you've got the samples. Yeah, exactly. Cool. Well, thank you for doing this. Yes. Thank uh, you, Sebastian, for yeah, being here. Yeah. You're coming all the way to Paris. Oh, you're welcome. I love Paris. <laughs> this is my ninth trip here, so. Guys, thanks so much for watching this video with uh, Michelle of uh, Le Jardin Retrouvé. Uh, if you want to participate in the giveaway, make sure you're subscribed to this channel. Uh, also, put down why you want to win this uh, Le Necessaire uh, kit. Uh, also, mention which one sounds most interesting to you to win, if you are the winner. Uh, make sure you put down your country, even though this is open to the entire world. I'd like to know where we're shipping to. Also, please like this video, please share it, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye. Thank, Thank you. you, Sebastian. You're welcome. Thank you.